Ladies and gentlemen, according to Sebastian Gorka, um, Trump's vice president will be a man, a New Yorker, a former politician, somebody very close to Trump, a true patriot, and somebody that is campaigning with Trump right now. That person, according to the clues given by uh, Mr. Gorka, is Rudy Giuliani. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to decipher that according to those parameters, Rudy Giuliani, America's mayor, not long ago, according to the New York Times, okay, will be Trump's vice president. This is good because he actually is a an honorary knight in England, okay, um, he, yes, Giuliani is, uh, he was America's mayor before, um, a couple of years ago when he had the audacity to disagree with Democrats on results, which is what Democrats did with Trump every single day of his presidency. So this concerted effort to destroy Rudy Giuliani isn't working. Most Americans don't have a negative view of Rudy Giuliani. The media has tried desperately, in addition to the Democratic Party and every late-night comedian and every liberal pundit, to tarnish and disparage this man because he lost a lawsuit in New York. Uh, or he was indicted um, for being part of some kind of wide-ranging uh, plot to overturn um, results. Okay, uh, I think he was indicted in Fulton County. The problem here is that Trump was indicted under 91 criminal charges and is on pace to regain the Oval Office. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. You can indict Trump or Giuliani 5,675 times. You can indict Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani with Democratic Party prosecutors in blue states or blue cities 5,650,000 times, whatever, a billion times. You can level 1,000 criminal charges against them. And yet most Americans don't even know one charge against Trump. If you ask the average American... What, what Nixon did, they'll, they'll give you a, a, a pretty clear understanding. Um, you know, if, if you ask, you know, what did Sam Bankman Freed do or Bernie Madoff, they're pretty under, you know, uh, stocks, Ponzi scheme, crypto. Okay, nobody really knows the uh, Byzantine uh, labyrinth of uh, criminal activity that Trump and Giuliani are accused of. So that is not working. Um, the media despises Giuliani. New York is, you know, like every liberal urban center in the country, very liberal and very uh, Democrat. And it's Tammany Hall. Tammany Hall changed from, well, he was a Republican. So you, you look now, they have tried to um, completely rewrite history. The interesting thing is that Giuliani would make an amazing vice president. If God forbid, God forbid, he had to be a president, we've already we already knew we've we've already seen him uh, on the worst day, along with Pearl Harbor in American history. Uh, you know, apologies to those who think the Helsinki conference was one of the worst days, or that terrible day in January where supporters of President Trump lost their lives. Uh, and you know, a terrible, terrible tragedy in the police officer losing his life uh, 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 several days later or, you know, after that day. But um, Trump did not commit a rebellion. Uh, Giuliani did not try to um, illegally overturn any results. None of these things are accurate, despite the legal, uh, the indictments or the accusations in a court of law. Uh, this is 2024, November, we get to pick our next president. Hit subscribe to this channel right now to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, other publications. Go to hagoodman.com. My Patreon is below to my new Patreons. Thank you so very much. Um, the super thanks is below to the people who have given super thanks. Thank you so much. Sometimes I try my best to say thank you, and sometimes it... You know, it eludes me, but thank you if you give super thanks. And we had a fantastic live stream last night. It was like 16,000 or so views. And we had close, something close to six to 700 people. It was wonderful. Nikki Haley is... If I'm Nikki Haley, I would rather drop out before losing by 30 to 40 points in South Carolina. I think that's almost certainly going to happen. But anyway, um, you have a situation that where Democrats and media are going to say, Giuliani's only doing that so he doesn't go to prison. 
Uh, that's what they're saying with Trump. And it, it, interestingly enough, this is like um, the democratic, the, the political equivalent of a supernova or some kind of celestial body that implodes from uh, so much um, energy. Uh, the Democrats are now not now not only are they going to be livid, the the morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrats, when Trump picks Rudy Giuliani as vice president, will express such apoplectic, uh, likely hysterical indignation that they'll spend too much energy, uh, likely hyperventilating. With not only Trump, but now Giuliani. Okay. And then if they pick, you know, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene as uh, <laughs> Secretary of State and, uh, <laughs> and it uses, I mean, it would be too, it would be too much for Carrie Lake as uh, the FBI director. Oh, no, you know, it's like there's only the, the, the currency of outrage is worthless now because, like Biden's America, inflation uh, has made it obsolete. There's so much outrage, it's meaningless now. Just like there's so much money that was printed uh, and s- uh, scarcity of goods and all that because uh, the wonderful, morally superior, wonderful, uh, highly educated Democrats and experts shut down economic activity in major states and throughout the country uh, because they were told to. So every bad idea, every terrible, horrible idea uh, is backed up by a consensus of experts um, that – does nothing for the country, and we're heading towards a terrible stock market crash. Look, Trump could pick anyone he wanted to. He'll be able to pick anyone he wants because, unfortunately, God forbid. But I just, I'm, I, I'm, I'm afraid to tell you that I do think that we're going to have a terrible, terrible market crash, Bitcoin crash, uh, you know, and that could cause a f- terrible financial downturn as well. Anyway, Giuliani agrees with Trump on every major policy. You look at the southern geographic region of our country today. You, it, a wall would have helped save lives on both sides, okay, uh, within both countries. Um, a wall would have helped. Uh, you look at the foreign policy of Biden. Um, that terrible, terrible quagmire in Europe would not have taken place with Trump. End of story. People say, well, that's not true. Uh, The major power there did not want membership into the alliance in Europe. That's not, you could have simply, and you could have simply saved the country by saying, okay, look, get something from Vladimir and also just promise not to join the alliance. And you know what? And there, a deal would have been done by Trump. It's not rocket. Again, this is, none of this is rocket science. Before every major catastrophe we've had in terms of foreign policy, every um, military conflict we should never have engaged in, we saw the writing on the wall. Okay, before the before us in Vietnam there was the French, before us in Afghanistan there were the Russians. Um, you can look, and we, we, we people like Biden don't learn from history. They're essentially Tammany Hall politicians, you know. Liberal Democrats and Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld Republicans, the never Trump Republicans like Nikki Haley, or I, I should say Nikki Haley is, and she'll endorse Trump, but the never Trump Republicans and, are the Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld people, and the liberal Democrats like Kerry and Biden and Clinton and others, and I think Hillary Clinton will replace Biden somehow, some way. Um, these people have no problem sending Americans to never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts. From the moment I started writing, okay, and getting published in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, other publications, what drove me was preventing endless military conflict and counterinsurgency wars. I am against those. I am. I, it is immoral to allow those to take place. You need to save the lives of American men and women and never allow any type of of military quagmire in in that fashion. And um, Democrats don't care. And so, and neither do never Trump Republicans. Only Trump, and in this case, Giuliani or Trump Republicans, care. Uh, the, the, The populist Trump Republican 
is the moral choice, is the anti-war, anti-endless military conflict choice. Give me your thoughts below. And a great economy. We had record low poverty and record highs in household median income with Trump. I mean, what more What more do you want? Look at what's taking place now in this country. Hit subscribe right now. According to Sebastian Gorka, it's Giuliani. Hit subscribe. Share this everywhere.